Like we've come to the end of the road There's no point in running away now I'd rather sleep until the storm is gone She'd rather be shooting at me now I know we will end up in anger I don't think we grew up, we just became older She's aiming her words, ready to fire I don't think that bullets will bring back desire Like a blink of an eye's not enough She'd rather be staying for a day So I'd rather fix it than mess up again She'd rather be burning it all now I know we will end up in anger I don't think we grew up, we just became older She's aiming her words, ready to fire I don't think that bullets will bring back desire I don't think that bullets will bring back desire
Hey guys, what is up? Alex Brody here, and welcome back to Blair Witch. So we're picking off exactly where we left off last time. Uh oh. It's okay, boy. It's okay. No. Be sure no, it's not. Where are you, dog? Bullet. <laughs> Easy boy, no need to be scared. No, no, definitely be scared. I 100% agree. Each one is more twisted than the last. Cool, I have to go. The same, but older. A lot older. Oh, this doesn't make any oh there sense. it is. I'm waiting to see where the hell this thing It's okay, buddy. It's all gone. I don't know if that fixes it or makes it any better. If I was ready, wait. Can I just hide in here? Hmm. Actually, can I just climb in here? Let's just stay in there for a while. Actually, you know what? I have a good way to really start this off. We are going to stay in here, where we're safe, because of course no one can get to us in here. And we are going to play some snack. Like any sane person would be doing in a forest where someone's just been talking to us. We're going to hide in our little tent. Ignore the fact that the dog seems to be crying outside. And we are going to play snack. Because that is exactly what same people would do. Got our score of 25, 26 yesterday. Let me see if we can now uh, beat that because now this is a new goal. Because in fairness, if we're not allowed to just get up and leave, why the hell should we be doing anything else? You know, we're basically just sitting here listening to some ambient music through YouTube, you know. I'm not going to pretend like we can hear any of that creepy, scary music. You know, Mum, it's just a phase. That's what we listen to now. Punk rock was a thing, and now it's... Oh, damn it, that was a little berry. I was wondering how my tail got so weird. See, Bullet seems to be happier now. He's busy licking himself, so you know he's in a good place. But at the very least, he's excited and happy. He's still good, pretty sure, pretty sure. He's still super happy. Damn it, though. Everything's super okay, but look, don't worry. We're all happy. We're all in a good space. Don't panic. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna play our little snake on our phone. No bad things can get us while we're playing snake, I hope. I'm pretty sure. And as far as I know, basically, this is an old Nokia, so you... that was stupid. So that could you a snake for today. That was my own fault. So we had our attempt to try to hide away from everything. We should probably get back to the game, I suppose. Actually, I want to. I want to see if I've got. This was Peter Shannon or something. Then he went missing. If I'm correct. Yeah. So Peter Shannon also went missing. I just want to do a little bit of actual detective work now. So P oh, Peter was the kid, so yeah. Wouldn't we find a... A letter about someone that went missing? Barbara, Ned, Caroline, Fabian, Lucas, Marius. In the...
because that's Peter, but I'm pretty sure we saw we found a little thing about another person missing. There was just wondering if, along with finding about him missing in the woods, or finding another person missing in the woods, we found a picture of him. Do we have a picture for Peter? We do. So that means Peter's as good as gone, I suppose. So I feel like if there's a photo, we should just be able to give up and be like, nah. We turning back and we heading out. I feel like that makes perfect sense. I'm pretty sure there was just something in the pathway there. Amazon is definitely getting louder, which I don't know if I'm okay with that. I don't really like the idea of bad things happening. Are you still here? Did you bark for fun because you found something? Are you just stuck there now? Bullet. Huh? Did you just get stuck? Apparently, yes. Heal. Unless he's st stopped here for a reason that I don't quite understand. Am I just confused? He's just still back there. I know you're not. You're free now? Slash teleported to me, I'm assuming. Oh, shit. I just looped around. So that was extremely ineffective then. Oh right, well. It looks like someone left it here for us. I definitely missed something. I think I don't know if that was there the first time. It's him. Okay. Well, I suppose we should watch this whole thing through. Let's find it, buddy. Okay, so obviously the two little things there, but now I don't know if they're part of two clues or if they really are two separate things. Now I'm assuming. Oh, what's that? Fear for getting critters by Todd McKinnon. The hell? Can you not do that in the things right next to me and freak me out like that? No, I don't know where my paper went. There we go. Fear of forgetting critters by Todd McKinnon. Theodore McKinnon, my father, was a lumberjack. When I was a child, he would often take me to the sawmill in the Black Hills Forest to tell me stories of the monsters and witches who lived there. Cool. Seen the monsters? I returned to that place almost 40 years... Dog shh. I returned to the place almost 40 years. It looks exactly how I remembered, except for its haunting emptiness. No one was telling the stories of fearsome critters anymore. There was not a single soul to pass the legends on. 
the logging camp disbanded and the old sawmill was left to rot. But I could not simply let it be forgotten. Not before, it not before it revealed the secret to me. Not before I learned what drove my father to take his own life. Is there a picture for Todd? Or Theodore, I suppose. Uh-uh. Okay. So we have to try find that weird rock that's been pushed over, I'm assuming. Cause I, don't, Cause I don't think it was by the camp. I'm assuming we find that rock that's pushed over and either we have to reverse the video to get um, either the shovel or the rock to come back up. Okay, that's just a loop around if I'm not mistaken because that's why we went the first time we ended up back at the campsite. So this is possibly the other way. Really nice. We actually just got a map. Oh, cool. That's not at all of putting the fact that I just found a candle lit on the floor in the forest. Lovely. A dog tag. What is? No, no, that's impossible. Yeah, yeah. Let's move on. Well, achievement. Palma Anton T. I don't know. Doesn't seem to have anything to do with me, I'm assuming. Actually, I'm Ellis, but then again, I was also putting a weird awful team, so assuming I was also in. Um, the army. There's what I was looking for. Yeah, we found stairs, which that's why we ended right up back at the we back at the campsite, I think. Yep. Well done. I completely went in the right direction there. I promise. So then, I'm assuming. Fuck no. Possibly, I have to use the camera then. So. See if that makes it stay up. I don't know. assume it's somewhere near here. But I haven't seen the thing is there's rocks everywhere as well for me to be like, oh it's that rock right over there. It's also far from an easy thing to do. This is where we found creepy dog tags of someone that was impossible.
Okay, the back of camp site, so that obviously that search obviously went really well. Back up here in the corner. BP tree. Only flowers with colours, which is really weird. Oh, well. Found it, I suppose. What's this? Looks ancient. Come on, boy. Let's leave it alone. It's apparently going to the purple flowers, so. In case I'm guessing. No, man, not that. Not that either. That one, there we go. Well done. We clicked on the right thing. We're not completely useless. We are completely useless. We did not click on the right thing. So I'm assuming. Cool. That didn't appear though. This looks like the place. What's that? Uh, okay, cool. Apparently we use dog labor. The Taffy East Creek Timber Company. So the notes of the crazy person I just found. Yeah. It's long ago before. That's where landing was going. That's worth a shot. Maybe we'll finally get some answers. <laughs> okay, cool. Sure, but it looks like because I magically know where that is. A good long whiff bullet. It's important. And I'm useless, so... I wonder if it's dark enough yet for us to get hunted by ghosts, or monsters, or weird tree things that I can really make out what they were. Alright, so it literally would have put me right here anyway. Oh Jesus, okay, it looks like it made a big point to be actually finding that first dog tag. I wonder if that's to do with the story. Elisha Pike, this is Monarch. Do you copy? Bullet! Elisha What? <coughs> Who is this? Oh, I forgot we met a new friend. For some reason I think the weirdos that have been killing and murdering people are the new friends we just made. What'd you find? Dope, more dog tags, great. And another one? Alwood Ashley M. A A neg no preference. Preference. Okay, so I'm assuming there's something had no reaction though, so it's obviously not dog tags from Our youth or army people that's Elisha Five, do you copy? That ain't English. Elisha Five, this is Monarch, do you copy? This is No, you're not real. I heard him pretty sure he counts as real. And I'm not quite sure why the road signs were in what I would guess is Arabic? But I would also think that if I was in the army, isn't this game a bit old for having... Hey buddy, what's wrong? Street signs and... Oh, tree people. One of these thingies. Easy boy, it's gone now. What the hell just
I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just gonna run to the burning building or it's the light that's flashing. I don't know what I'm doing. And I have nothing that says I'm um, doing the wrong thing either. I don't know if I'm supposed to avoid the swirlies. Assuming possibly that the swirlies. Kill me? Don't know if I'm getting shot or not. Don't know. Well, obviously, I know this is all. I suppose. In my head. For sure, I also had a dog at one point, which. I didn't see no bullets, so. I don't think we have no dog no more. But judging by the fact he's been doing all the heavy. Oh shit. That's a tree, man. have two places you can hard. Well let come here. Come here boy. Do we carry on going now after that little combat esque thing? That does hurt me. And I can't shoot it with a torch. So... Can't kill that one with my torch weapon. So I can't kill you with my FPS tactics of... Use a tor torch gun thing? Should be able to get... I suppose we should be able to get... It's the last piece now. I'm very confused about the storyline this game is taking us on though. <sighs> For a second I thought I had an extra friend aside from my dog. I'm moving. But I can only move so fast through my delirium. No. Lovely. You're not... No. Now I'm pretty sure he is. What if I just lost all? Tess <laughs> apparently dog our help. That's one. That's one positive we have at least. If you, all this will never. Never. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that anything that's keeping us sane is the dark side. Don't don't know if I really want to let go until. Okay. Okay, it seems to be good now. We do seem to keep passing out, which is also another issue that we might want to sort out at some point. But hey, each their own, I suppose. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. 
Good boy. Why are we spinning in circles? Oh, that was me that did that. Heal. Shit. Why are we breathing so heavily? I feel like you get a treat. That's not what I meant to do. That one. Come here, boy. So she's seeing as well, my heart is beating so fast, which probably means go, that I should be doing something else more productive. But nah, pretty sure we're gonna sit and we are going to give Dogo a snack. Didn't make us breathe less heavily though, which is another issue. And we're probably just going to go straight, I guess. Oh. Doggo? Walking for a reason or just to let me know you're there? Cool. So let's go to the weird poles. That don't look ominous and creepy at all. We are definitely where we should be. Fuck. Yeah. We need to find another way. Yeah, because those. Hey, spinny things, you hurt. Are you barking something specific or just. I just cause. Okay, cool. Just making sure it wasn't now one of those other combat situations where I become becomes an Wait, FPS with a torch. Is that a railroad track? Let's see where it leads. Okay, so I'm assuming we're going to. It wants us to go that way, which apparently we can't go. So guessing we're going the wrong way. Also assuming that we're not supposed to be able to go past those things and we just can't run past them. That's also... Oh, we got cell phone network. Let's find, let's find Jess because... I don't know. Let's phone her. Why not? Hey, Jess. I feel like this is a, a good thing to do in the middle of a situation. Checking in. Checking up on, on you, I mean, um, how are you? Don't know if I should really be phoning her and acting yeah, even more crazy, but hey. You're a regular Don Juan. Thank you. Oh, Compliments. Hey, yeah. Compliments get you, you everywhere. Around, money for us for a while. It doesn't really help with your romancing skills. Speaking of which, any progress? <sighs> how has it been? Shouldn't she, shouldn't... Well, there's something really messed up going on. Shouldn't she be concerned? Be like Sorry, you've been yeah. stuck there for how many days? Shouldn't you be a bit worried about why I'm still here? I wouldn't even know where to start. Just listen. If anything happens, I want you to know. Hey, stop it, Ellis. Whatever it is you want to tell me, you can do it once you get back, okay? It's like I am. Yeah, you're right. What do I expect to happen to me that I'm like, hey, I might apparently die? But I won't either. I'll support you. At least not yet. Sorry, Jess. I, I, I gotta go. Talk to you soon. Cool. Let's not support her decisions here and just head back. How the hell did they get here? So. Yes, these are. Dark tags of fallen soldiers. I was assuming I am not. Right, we're gonna have some creepy message on my phone now. Actually dying though, which is bullshit. Yay, new voice message. We get a creepy voice message again. Cool, 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 cool. 
assuming that has to do with the fact that I killed her son, I'm guessing. And that whole robbery thing, probably my fault, fair enough. But then again, I feel like he was burglarizing, so... What is in here? You are going to be important at some point, I'm assuming, by the fact that you are open. And you are not, but I'm by the fact that you seem to be closed. Hey, lots. What do you have for me? Nothing important. I also appear to be solo. Real card. Seeing as the dog didn't come with me. So can I just ride this to victory now? Bullet up. No bullet on, down. Where are you actually? Okay, he's gonna lie down in a lot of creepy forest. I must say, at least the dog is very, very comfortable with it. It's a lot more comfortable than I am with it, apparently. Why did the music just pick up there for like no reason? That's not cool. Apparently logs are scary, so you know what? I'm just gonna climb on this and solve that problem. Oh. Driver lever, power switch, forward, backward, brake lever. Don't. The vroom. I know we want you on. Where are you? Okay, that's the brake. So that goes up, I'm assuming. And that goes that way. I'm also assuming I'm not going to have like a random QTE in the middle of this. This is super slow. It makes it so much more worse and stressful. Pretty sure I did say back. It's an assuming bed. That's our stop, buddy. According to who? So I think I should obviously have to check this out because I didn't know there was a locking operation out. I'm an idiot. Stop giving up permits in the sixties. This is ancient. I just knew that knowledge off the top of my head. I hate when people do that. <laughs> so apparently I'm now also a trash collector. Let me find another creepy photo of Arcadius. Thanks for the tape. We are not gonna watch you yet. But first gonna try and find all the creepy shit around here before we watch this. Locked. Okay, so I'm assuming watching that opens the door. Uh 
to me this one is I haven't seen this one, but I guess this is the one that I picked up. I know this is the one that I saw. So, have I seen this one? They think I don't know. I've seen that one. Red Come Trail, The Clue, The Machine. Okay, cool, this is where I am, yeah. Cool, so we can have a, a, now, a mini game now, I'm assuming. a good feeling about how this video is going to end though. Of course that did open which is what I was aiming for. There's no creepy dead bodies in here so we've got that as a plus. Good, good read. Guidry? Hmm. We just got a new delivery. Come to maintenance shed to pick up the part you wanted, Robert. Steam powered donkey engine. Tappy East Creek Timber Co. Black Hills Forest, Frederick Country, Maryland. Whistle, safety valve, pressure ga gauge, pressure control valve, firebox. Okay. The maintenance shed looks promising. And maybe there's some spare parts left. Okay, so I'm assuming I have to. Um, start this thing. Okay, so first we pick up the creepy dog tag. That's what we do first. God. I'm so sorry. Okay. Then we light the fire. Okay, I wonder if I go to the video If it will light the fire for me, which I know sounds really weird, but I can always hope. There we go. So fire. Then I. Mess with this doohickey. Oh, something can be screwed onto this pipe. It's a valve, but the handle's missing. Okay. I do none of those doohickeys because that is broke it, I'm assuming. I think a pressure gauge could we need to close the valve soon now. Okay, so now I'm assuming we go to Why are you locked? Budge. Okay, cool. So I'm assuming we just go to the other camp now and try to find the thing we've been looking for this whole time. Get off the stupid rocks, dude. Okay, I did change the tracks, so at least you've done that. Bullet up. Then assuming we go forward and if everything worked properly, we go this way now. Jesus! Crap. 
This is not... That is super close. I'm about to get hit. Oh, you little bitch. I heard you. We done? Cool, we done with our little FPS combo. I must say the fact that the torch flares up really does help quite a lot. I don't know if staying in there or jumping out was actually better. Anything I do think is, I don't know if you would have actually helped if I actually got up, if you would have helped. Um, Right, back into the sea of the darkness. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna follow these tracks because we can see absolutely nothing. And we're just gonna pretend that everything is perfectly fine and we are in a happy place. And there's not broken things. Oh, okay, that is not a creepy little picture. I'm just going to pretend this hasn't been torn apart at all. Psychological reports illegible. Background summary and reason for referral. Patient brought in by parents due to extreme panic attacks, insomnia and sleepwalking after traumatic experience. I advised three therapeutic sessions per week. During a preliminary interview, I was able to determine the following. The patient actively avoids recalling the events. He experiences vivid nightmares since the event. Possible coping mechanism. He exhibits emotional numbness, irrational aggression, and discretion disassociation to the event. Herbal is very nervous. Possible undiagnosed anxiety neuroses. Seems like me and that homeboy have something in common. And I didn't find anything. I don't like the fact the music's picking up like that when I can't tell what for. I feel like it is unnecessary and they don't have to be that mean and fuck with me. Cool, 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 cool. Gives me the creeps. What's Evolving? Oh, that's a lamp. I was like, that looks like a shield. Can we not just take one of those? I'd really love to also know what the hell these monsters are, because they look tree-like. So I don't know if they're based off of, like, trees? That sounded a lot smarter before it came out my mouth. I don't know if they have something to do with that weird, creepy-ass tree we saw in the beginning. Is this a dead end? Possibly? Oh, here. Yeah. I feel like we have gotten very off path though. That is where we started, so yes. Not necessarily off path, just to a completely wrong place. Don't really know which is worse. I don't really know how I'm supposed to be finding 
part to fix that thing in here. Especially not like the leftover tree fort thing. Because I'm assuming I need to find the pressure valve and the... Um... Shit man, what's that other thing? Pressure valve and the uh, valve handle. Don't necessarily know where I'm going to find them in a bunch of destroyed trees. Okay, so that's evidently a bridge. Oh. That I'm pretty sure counts as. Okay, it's attached to something. Fair enough. So I'm pretty sure that counts as a valve as a handle. So instead of going down the pathway, I go up these like a smart person and follow the path they've put out for me. Almost like I know what I'm supposed to be doing. This one is barely holding up. Let's see if there's anything to salvage. Okay, cool. So I need to apparently not look there at all. This again. Who that is? I don't know if that's supposed to have a name. Jesus, dog, don't make noises like that. I wonder if I can. No. How did I get lost from where I'm supposed to be? I'm getting stuck in stuff. Okay, let's just do what we're supposed to be doing and then call it a day. One so I need down, one, one of down. these. Okay. And I need the valve. Which I'm assuming I have to walk around in a circle to try and even find. Or isn't here at all? Should be not there apparently. So unless there's the secret shit. No, not here. Alright, here's the shed. So another creepy dog tag of what I'm assuming is probably uh God damn it. So who's this one now? Forest forced keys B. I suppose that would all help with a lot more context to a lot of it. When I took the camera from the old fool, it was full of senseless chatter, but I saw it. I saw the thing things it can really do. Though it I threw it, Jesus reading. Through it I can look into the darkness and see the creatures that lurk there without being seen. Through it I can see the things that escape my eyes. And through it I gaze back into the things I've done. It won't let me forget. So, shouldn't I be able to take that? No, apparently not. So what are the points of coming in here? The dog tag. I feel like I should be able to take a can of petrol, burn, burn this bitch down. Find the tree, take it out. I feel like that's just fair. But, um, I was so sure that's where I would actually find the valve. Was that really just all for a dog tag? that's all blocked off. Was it really just for the dog tag? I don't know. It's... And all of that that I can't find a pressure valve on. Apparently so. Oh, passing. 
inside, I think I'm supposed to be able to go here. I keep getting caught on things, so I'm assuming I shouldn't be going there. But then... Okay, cool, so that's back down. So it has to be in this area somewhere. Unless I don't need the pressure valve and I can just guess. But that doesn't make sense. Do I need the ladder? No. So I did explicitly talk about the pressure, like the little actual pressure gauge, not valve. There we go. Words more than once. So if I don't have one, surely it's an issue. And this is kind of like, ah, fuck it, it's broken anyway, no one cares. This is one way to find out. Okay, cool, we just need... And isn't this where I came out? Isn't I going to the back of that thing? Apparently not. Nope, we're further down. That is on my bad. There is a trolley of safety. Should be able to climb onto this bad boy. And this is on me guessing I've done the right thing. Of course, we're completely wrong. And we just put you in reverse. like that isn't true at all. Oh, no point put that in reverse. I mean, put that break up. Oh, we are understand being attacked again, aren't we? You are super close. See you, bitch. So I feel like that's gonna re-happen every time I go back there. So right now we need to pray that I didn't fuck up. And do the wrong thing. Let's go, bullet. We're just going to ignore that one, aren't we? I'm definitely just going to ignore that. I don't actually know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm moving that log. I feel like it doesn't actually need to work, or I am missing a piece. See, so yeah, apparently still missing a piece, but there was definitely was not this piece or the other thing. Damn it. I have to go redo the FPS thing. Come on, bullet. We done fucked up. We are going back. Let's go redo our FPS area. So yeah, I think it... triggered every time I'm assuming.
That's our stop, buddy. Wait, where's the other area? I didn't see this. So well done me for not even seeing it. There's a whole extra area I'm assuming that I can go down. But this looks really like familiar like the one that I came from initially. Unless it's not. No, it is. Oh, unless I can... Did I just run to where I came from? I just ran to where I came from, but I don't know. Yep. Yep. Oh, damn. This means good chance I'm actually going to die in this, this little piece now. It's still standing. Okay, so I was just supposed to be smart and come here. That I feel that I feel like is really unfair because it counts on me being smart, which let's be honest. I haven't exactly done that much of that in quite a long time. Tappy East Creek Timber Co. Maintenance shed. Inventory as of 26 June. Uh, pressure gauge, I need those. Grinding wheel. Draft belt, brass belt, canvas fire hose. I can order for more valves. Maybe I should have read the end of that. Well, the valve I got. I need the gauge. Looks like we won't be getting in through here. It's heading out. I genuinely have to try to go around now. Oh, I need these little pictures, pictures I need, no. That's a bell. I can't go through there. being a good boy. Come on. This should do it. Okay, cool, sweet. Okay. Because you did well, you get a pet. Like that's just fair. back to go fetch a little cart because we crashed it instead of reading signs and being smart. Okay, we're just gonna climb back on here. We're gonna go back and we're gonna turn that off. Wish sure I can also just actually turn that so I just loop around instead of going in reverse. Which would actually be a lot quicker and more optimum, but hey, we didn't say we were smart, did we? I'm 
invisible trigger is that one random one that is going to attack me here. Nope, so this time I'm actually safe. We have to, for whatever reason, run back through. Good. We need to go past there and we're stopping. Come on, buddy. Then we should be good to just put the bulb on. Almost as if we had paid attention to the right thing at the beginning. Okay, we'll walk around like we're supposed to. Keep it in the green, that's not too bad. I don't actually know when it's out the way, is that the issue? I'm just continuously pulling. Hop on, buddy. Back on track. Okay, cool. So that sorted that out. Now we have to change this back. And we should be good. Should we be able to go straight through? Hop on. Actually, go in the right direction first of all, and this time we see if we're going to find spookums in the forest. Which I'm assuming we are going to find spookums in the forest. I really wish this thing would go faster though. Make this transition a lot better. a weird little loady thing. Well, we got lights, so I feel like we safe-ish. It's also really weirded out by the fact that Jess hasn't cared. It's like, oh, you've been gone for two days in a forest trying to find this kid, but hey, you're fine. Like, no questions. Everyone's just okay with it. Well, we just saved, so I don't have a good feeling about that. Can the little spinnies not get me in this thing, I'm assuming? Okay, so apparently I'm protected by... Oh shit, this this isn't good. A little further. I don't like the fact that super tense music as well, which makes me think that Oh, they can attack the stick. I'm assuming I can't do anything to them either. I'm shining my torch at you. It kills things. No. Actually, to try to stop them. I 
legitimately actually don't know if I'm supposed to be doing anything now. I was just sitting through it. I don't. Now we're in a rickety ass bridge that looks like it's going to fall apart. Dope. Dope, dope. Cool. Okay, cool. That's the only thing that really matters. As long as Doggo's still there, we're good. Assuming I can't go back now, though, and it's going to die right about here, and I'm going to have to... Yep. Good enough, buddy. Sounds about right. Got cell phone signal though, so that means let's phone Jess because that's apparently what we do every time we get cell phone signal. Who could you possibly be speaking to? That's some bullshit. I don't feel like that is realistic at all. As I try to phone her. Alice, hey, you okay? You sound out of breath. Kinda. Uh, no, it's it's nothing, and uh, everything. I okay. I I know I'm not making any sense right now, but uh, mm -hmm. that's the thing. I don't think what we're sitting through is making much sense either. Lose it, Jess. I see these things, and I don't even know if they're real or not. I I I, I don't know which is worse. Pretty sure no, they ain't. Down. Right, I got attacked by leaves. Um, memories, uh, bad memories. And got attacked by leaves. I think they left out that part. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. But the attack by leaves thing. And when I first just my car. For everything. Like, for some reason, believing I'm not going completely psycho, when pretty much I'm going completely psycho. There's also that aspect we have to deal with. I think we just went for sawmill side without even actually checking. What you got there, bullet? Fine, you do all the work and you be the hero of the story. I'm just here to follow you around. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Thanks for the note, doggo. I've always considered myself a reasonable man, but it was this reasonable nature that kept me blind. Oh, I didn't want, didn't want to believe. I was ready to accept that I was losing my mind, but just avoid facing the truth. But now I'm slowly beginning to see more time I spend in these woods, the clearer it all becomes. Just a few more days, just a few more days, and I'll finally hunt it down. Guessing that didn't happen. Unless you're talking about, unless you're the crazy man who killed the sheriff, and that's the only thing you managed to hunt down. Otherwise, don't have much faith in you, homie. I think you did a rather shit job. Cool, huh? so jump down to the next section. That's not cool. Um, dog. Oh, right. is there something here? Oh. Right. Being a good trash picker again. Thanks, doggo. It actually is for an achievement if you guys want it. I don't know if it actually has anything to do with the story or not. The place we were looking for. But definitely tied to achievement. Well, seeing as that's the first thing so it's actable, I got. Didn't work though. Well, I'm 
was gonna go to wait. I uh, 100% thought that door was gonna sh close in behind me. It's old, not abandoned. Cool, 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 cool. Another one. Definitely not abandoned. Those don't look that old. And yeah, no, you know, I'm not gonna talk about the fact that there's a fire still going. That's not like that was a dead giveaway, but it's more the fact that, you know, there's pots and pans that still look like they're somewhat clean. Tip. Let's see our evil little people's tape this time. So... I don't get who the... There's obviously some weird supernaturals there, but these just look like some crazy hillbillies. Let's go die. Oh, that's that's cool. That's cool. That's that's super cool. Hey friend, promise I won't hurt you. Now, this is my question logic, he obviously just died. But now I'm gonna spend a bunch of time, oh god damn it. Guess we're not gonna find out. around go through here or loop around and go through here or no I'm not gonna be able to climb up those logs like I said I was going to or thought I was going to so I'm just gonna be okay with that not be able to do anything about it, not be able to even get upstairs. <sighs> Does that open that door? And I'm assuming then. Was there more to the video? torch out oh cool this isn't creepy at all this is super okay dope door even closed behind me i feel super super good about all of this and oh, no, a door didn't close behind me Easter egg. That's the team who made this game. Three, three, two, four. Okay, cool. So I'm assuming that's the padlock combination. That's not like a cop car. I saw it. Not a witch or a monster, but a man. A man carrying the pelt of a skinned human. He saw me and now he's coming, carving, carver. Cool. So apparently. Oh, 
Well, I wanna see it. Okay, let's get this thing now. Oh, okay, that wasn't a thing. Thought it was too interactable, so three, three, two, four, cool. Assuming that's the lock combination for where the blood I just ran through. What is the combination for the other thing as well? So three, three, two. I don't know why I'm doing this. Like, hey, he might have just killed someone. Let's go have a look. That makes perfect sense. I'm so confused what is happening right now. Just turn down the brightness on his. Cool. I'd say he wasn't warned at least. Cool, that's still running. Get out a trusty torch. This must have literally just happened as I was standing below. friend what's he doing there friend the smartest decision or solution to this. That's how that works, first of all. Second of all, that's creepy. He be creepy. Oh, cool. So I've just passed out and he's dragging me through the entire forest. That's dope. That's super okay, I suppose. What are you 
doing here, Private? It was me, sir. Huh? What was? Elijah Five. I was the point man, sir. What are you trying to say, soldier? I let those men into the ambush, sir. Okay, guess so there's the dog tags I keep finding. Very confused about when this game was set then. Nine injured. Six dead. Six grieving widows. Nine orphan children. One negligent soldier. He should have been court martialed. I feel like that's slightly unfair. Ambush and powers, I don't know. It wasn't your fault, Ellis. See this knife? I remember holding it against my wrist, pressing it deeper and deeper, wanting to end it all, to silence the voices. Mm -hmm. Weak, pathetic. I should have listened from the start. That's what set me free. You'll understand soon enough. Not, not sure I will. <laughs> I don't get who those R's are. I'm assuming they're Jess. Oh. Doggo. Gone. And I got my doggo. He dragged me out here and just left. Hey there, sleepyhead. You're hey, such a sweetheart, aren't you? Me too. Well, let's find out what this bad feeling is. Patients in for, for monthly appointments in relation to his anxiety and neuroses. Seems kept in check. Again, no discussion of the woods or his friend. Dissociates of amnesia worsening. I admit this patient has become is beginning to concern me. Everyone seems to have moved on, but the fact that he does not talk about the woods at all is almost eerie. He has become interested in hiking, hunting. He was offered a scholarship to out of state, but did not does not want to leave town. Something is keeping him here. Assuming the woods. Why are you just sitting here? There, Ellis. Look for it. Hey, camera. Did you charge it for me like a good friend? That son of a bitch. Listen, oh. Ellis. This is nothing personal, really. I'd kill you right then and there, I swear. But she... She wants you. She didn't say anything about the boy. So look. Here's the boy. Here's the knife. Here's what I want you to do. Like that's a what the hell is this? I feel like that's a very shit deal. This again. So I don't know who those are pictures of. Are those pictures of me, possibly? So I more little wood carvings. Uh, so those are apparently all normal. Huh? It's all rotten. But how? Would have taken years for it to get this bad. OK. 
Okay, Doggo, assuming we're all done here. Now, the game assumes I remember where the hell that white tree is. Which is assuming a hell of a lot of things that I do not remember. I'm just going to run along the path and see where we end up, I suppose, though. Yeah. Make sure it's like I said, don't bark. Come in, Ellis. Ellis. Careful now, Ellis. Your little flashlight won't help you here. Oh, great. Oh, but don't worry. I won't leave you alone out there. I don't need your help. Oh, don't feel like that. Look around. I left you a sign. What? A sign. I just walk in between them. And I think on that, that is where we're going to end it for today. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, please, guys. All those Mixer and YouTube things, follow, subscribe, like. All helps a lot. But most of all, just thanks so much for